I was with this group of young people and I told no one I was going to speak about. They didn't even know me. But my message was going to be that God is going to show mercy to the youth of America because he remembers his covenant with Jonathan Edwards, the father of the first great awakening in America. And just like David showed mercy to Mephibosheth, a broken generation, but because they were the sons of Jonathan, just like David remembered his covenant with Jonathan, he would show mercy to Mephibosheth, even though they didn't deserve it. I had told nobody what I was going to preach. And between, right before I got up to preach, this kid walks up to me out of the blue and says, Hey, Mr. Ingle, guess what? I just found out this week I'm the great, 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 great grandson of Jonathan Edwards. And I want to plant this tree together as a memorial to that covenant that God would release a third great awakening and he would release something from Azusa that I know I got locked on the covenant years ago when I prayed. God, give me the mantle of Frank Bartleman. I don't want to read about revival. I want to see revival. And the next day, a brother walks up to me. This is 31 years ago. And a brother walks up to me and says, I had a dream of you last night. And in this dream, I saw a big black book and the title said revival. And he said, I turned the inside of the cover and I saw a guy's face and his name was Frank Bartleman. And his face turned to your face. Frank Bartleman's an intercessor of the Azusa Street Revival. 31 years ago, I've gone on a long journey with many failures, but he's brought me back here 31 years later. I believe because he remembers a word he gave to me and a prayer that we were praying back then, I, it makes no sense to me that we would be doing this here together unless he planned to fulfill what he spoke like Solomon that God has done he's done with his hand when he spoke with his mouth may God remember his covenant and show mercy to America in Jesus name. Lord just a few months ago you sent me first to Cane Ridge where the second great awakening began then immediately you took me to Wales, to the great Welsh outpouring. And Lord, they say that there's no revival since that Welsh revival that cannot be traced to it one way or the other. And then this revival broke out and you're bringing me here. And I know what you're trying to say, Lord. I don't claim to know the fullness of it, but I know exactly what. But I know, I know a piece of it. That you are about to mix up all of the anointings and all of the outpourings of the past. And you're about to bring all of those anointings and mantles and giftings into one great outpouring of your Holy Spirit that will result in the greatest harvest of souls in the history of the world Amen. and lord we just believe that this is a sign today you have brought us back to this place just like you did to cane ridge just like you did to wales now here to azusa street lord because you are saying i remember what i did and i will do it again but it will be at a higher level and it will be with greater power and greater strength and greater intensity so we plant the covenant tree today. We plant the tree that represents people coming together, outpourings being mixed together, mantles being mixed together, races being mixed together, anointings being mixed together, so that the synergy of the ages can take place right here in this place right now. Lord, we thank you for it, and we just decree, let it be done, let it be written, let it be done today in Jesus' name. So yesterday when we built that well and put the cross in it and we made a covenant there, I actually had in mind bringing all those streams and all those wells together, what you just said. We made a covenant there at the well and then the next day we're planting the tree just like they did with the appeal to heaven. This is that. Amen. Amen. Anybody want to prophesy? Go ahead and prophesy. Everybody, bishops, like to prophesy over us. All of us that are witnessing this moment.
God will prophesy right now and decree that this shall be a beginning of beginnings. And Lord, from this day forward, you are beginning to authorize angels on assignment, power of God being manifest, and this is the beginning of the glory of the Lord to fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. And we say, this will be looked back on for generations to come to say this was the beginning of the beginnings of the end of the devil and the beginning of the kingdom of God to come and is will to be done on earth as it is in heaven, so shall it be. It's decreed, angels are confirming, God's authorizing, and it shall be done. I just want to decree and prophesy that this is a sign of what God is about to do in the healing of this nation, that the walls are coming down, that racism will be dealt with, and the walls of division will will be overcome by the Spirit of God and the church in America. Amen. And we will walk as one and see the power that is released from that in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. And Father, we seal this word over this property in this place today. We thank you, Bird Dutch and and uh, Lou and Bishop Hammonds. You guys grab a bit of dirt there and be part of the planting now. And, Anybody else want to be a part of it, you can help as we go along now. You can say, you planted the tree. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Get your hands in there. Get your hands in there. Lord, we thank you for this tree. We thank you for all the people that are around this unity tree. I thank you that Azusa Street is going to burn with fire. I thank you that people are going to come from around the world to see the unity tree. And they're going to be able to help us sow into the work of the Lord in this place. Lord, I thank you for the property on the left or the property over there. We thank you for all the property that you would give us in this place. We receive it now. Either the property right here. We thank you, Lord, for the future. We thank you for it now in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said amen. Amen. Come on, say all right, come on, get some dirt, everybody. Help us with the tree. We got plenty of dirt. Something to do with this date in here. April 9th was Bonnie Bray. All right. Okay, Bonnie Bray. And it was, I think, three or four days later. When you finish, come back to the 